small, medium, and large. Episode 11. Eddie Van Halen has died. And the best part of Swan Song, I'm still waiting to hear, is when these people are crossing over uh, from hospitals or hospice, what have you, to understand that they have an understanding and a wisdom going forward. So that they're not given this uh, dramatic soliloquy of uh, rip out your freaking heart and drag it along the coals. No, they're laying there and they're waiting to get better. And it's the words out of his mouth is, I can't wait to be get back to being myself. I cannot wait to get back to being myself. Do you understand that in BCE? Or do you understand that in CE? I can't wait to get back to being myself. You don't go no place, you're right here. I cannot wait to get back to being myself. How's that sound? Trump, as a uh, normal, fair, free trade, fair, free trade with every practicing Democratic Republic, a self-governed people. Fair free trade with every government on the planet that practices a free government. Everyone. Oh, and yeah, look in the 1980s and 1990s, timeshares. That came out about the time that the uh, Bushes were dumping over to bank calamity into uh, dot-com services. And just before Clinton sold out all the education, check in the timeshares. Because now that's back in place again. And I got a feeling a lot of these slush funds, a lot of these hedges, a lot of these anonymous donors, a lot of these not for problems, a lot of these philanthropists are actually timeshares hidden in plain sight. And yes, while we are on current events, uh, has anyone found out if they start printing any money here since last March? I don't think so. I know Wells Fargo here on Allegheny Avenue is still boarded up. And I hear the one on Aramingo Avenue, now Saturday hours are cut. And today I could have swore when I called my bank to check on my balance, the hours for my bank has been cut. So uh, I don't know what's going on with these people, but as far as March when they stop printing the money, what would that tell you? And yes, I'm going to be digging out my interview with Maria Keona Sanchez. She's Appropriations City Council. Here's my interview from Leap Year, February 29th of 2012. She was already in office for all those years and already got all the tax code laid out throughout Kensington to be able to receive back manufacturing and small businesses. All right. Now we've been hearing about this and hearing about this and hearing about this and oh they're going to put the, all the information, put all the wealth, put all the education into the middle class, into the working class. We're going to restructure our work. Can you name one single job that they come up with? Can you name one, one single job for a common blue collar worker? One that they've been selling for 20 years now, 30 years now, 40 years now, 50 years now. Blue collar worker, we're gonna get you your job. 50, 60, 70 years, blue collar worker, we're gonna get you your job. Name one, tell all your politicians right now, stand in line, stand in line, top to the bottom, and name, everyone got to come up with a, a, a line for a blue collar job that starts out at, uh, I don't know, 5.50 to, to eight and a quarter an hour. That's the hourly wage. And a city that to be able to house them where they can be able to live and function on eight and a quarter an hour without getting taxed out the ass. Tell me now your salvation plan for the middle class working people. Tell it to me now. Tell me the job. Tell me the jobs. Tell me the position. Tell me the work you got lined up for us. Tell me. You never created one single job in your life. Tell me. Running on a campaign here, I'll get more money, more money, raise taxes, raise taxes, raise taxes, more programs, more programs. Tell me what jobs you created. Why can't you see being on earth as being in heaven? Have you never seen any spirits? I remember when I was a child uh, watching uh, television with my family. Uh, the event came on, the movie of the week or whatever, was Coal Miner's Daughter, a story of Loretta Lynn. I still remember that scene when she was in the apartment or motel or whatever it was. But she was with Bo and the kids uh, when her father passed. And I still recall, she said she heard his voice, and she went to the door and looked out, and there he was, sure enough, coming up across the field, waving as happy as can be, calling to Loretta. And she looked again, and he was gone. Heaven's here. The fact that he dropped out of your sight is not that he went anywhere else. It's that you don't have the ability to see because you've never been taught. Uh, the world of Emmaus, where our loved ones come back, they come up alongside us, we don't even realize it, until something triggers us, and they, we know it's them. How we've been taught, how we've been taught since we were conceived, from the first man, how we've been taught. This I take into account is another repercussion of the, well, running in with the Mississippians, and of course the most famous, Joseph Smith and Hiram. They couldn't match anything these people did. They worked for themselves, they made their own towns, they kept it themselves, they kept their own people. They had their wives, they had their families, they had their community. Everything they did, they did with God in mind. They built temples, they built buildings, the likes of which none of the local tradesmen could ever match. 
And so the governor wrote out a warrant for their arrest and brought them in. Yeah, Joseph Smith was supposed to be like the American Moses. They brought him in, put him in a cell, and then uh, the sheriff and his men went in there and shot him in the cell, executed him. Then they went out to their town and they burned to the ground and they chased all the people out. And perhaps then is when the teachings started to change a little bit more aggressively. But King Herod, Hellenism, well, yeah, the last to come on, cannot possibly make as much as me, cannot possibly be entitled higher to me. A caste system will always put you under the thumb. You had to pass this, you had to pass this, you had to transcend that, you had to get around this, you had to learn this, you had to learn it. Go read another book, go take another course, go read another book, go take another course. As I said, if they stop printing money as far as last March, your, and the mail-in ballots and everything. There, there's no mystery to this. And then the mysterious illness, oh! There's no mystery to this. It's a day of revelation, a day of reveal. The day where B.C. and A.D. Uh, becomes B.C.E. and C.E. Yeah, so we can understand A.D. and B.C. under B.C.E. Before we had full knowledge, unconscious and subconscious, and partial conscious, and glimpses, and then we, now we get to the CE, the current year. That's where it's, uh, and the, the throne of David will rule forever. A CE, full consciousness. We learn, we step closer, we see the reveal. Death is no more, and uh, the kingdom's here. We start building it out, we start filling it in, filling it out. People come back, the job's restored. Never been much of a tro trouble or a problem. But trying to get everyone else to believe it or everyone else to participate. This isn't my, my deal, Father. But that's on you. They're supposed to have the sense they're born with. That's on you. They're supposed to understand right from wrong. And if they do wrong, intentionally do wrong, it's sin. It's pro it's more likely also a crime, not only against God, but against man. And we have a list of laws and punishments and regulations and ordinances and statutes. Yeah, that's why we put away the most people in the world, because American, if nothing else, stands for justice, equal justice. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Period. Period. There ain't no excuse. Period. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Period. You're done. All done. All done. Oh, but I need this. I need that. No. No, 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 no. And taxing so they can sit there on their ass and, well, you're too busy. You can't figure it out. You don't want to answer the questions no more. So here's a fish. Go sit down. Here's a fish. Go sit down. Here's a video. Go sit down. Here's until you got them thinking high tech is the same old crap of algorithms and numbers and digits and letters, ones and zeros, and you just keep on patterning them one after the other. Boom, 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 and keep on repackaging it. Boom, 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 and switch a browser from time to time so they gotta buy it all over again. Boom, 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 boom. No, we bring back film, we bring back manufacturing. These are real jobs. We bring back making typewriters. Real jobs. That's why I'm not like Henry Ford. I'm like Henry Charles. I'm a producer. I write movies. Henry took his camera with him into World War II. I'm a photojournalist like that. I immerse myself. I take photographs. I experience from the inside out and the outside in. I become one with the people. Emmanuel, walking with them, experiencing everything they experience, seeing everything they see. And using history and using justice and using law and using order. It's not hard to figure out who the culprit is. It's not hard to figure out where the money's gone. None of this is a mystery. None of it. But I want to move forward now, Father, because I'm hastening my return. That's what I'm interested in. Enforcing the law and upholding the Constitution. Upholding the word. Upholding the covenant. Building the man. Building the kingdom. Building the spirit. Building the understanding. Building the consciousness. Building the awareness. Building the intellectual ability to cohesively engage. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And to, don't even bother to get on my head, my coattails. All right, I've been under affirmative action since 1973. Any jobs I've had, any careers I've had, any positions I've made, any plans I've put together, any products I've been, I created, I created, my God gave me, I put it out on the table. I designed it, I laid it out, okay? I did. Remember, I'm white, you won't give it to me. I took it. I made it myself. Grabbed it out in the air and made it myself. Yes, Father. Episode 11. Be with thy word and with thy spirit and with thy son and with thy people. In Jesus' name I ask. Hear this narrative, Father. It's getting to this point and I'm really weirded out about being a storyline. About birth and then death and then judgment. And understanding by checking over the ways of all man for all time. And what had happened, and thy story, and thy word, and what it says.
Lord Jesus, this is not, this is my heart reaching out to you, Father, submitting to you, Christ, believing you in all my life, Jesus, hiding in a cleft. I couldn't bear what they were teaching us, Father, not when thy word was so pleasing, thy light was so enjoyful. Help me finish writing this, Father, the good work which you began in me. Please, Lord, I'm not seeing the banks continuing on. I'm not seeing them reverting back to a business. I'm not seeing them changing their course of action. I'm not seeing any kind of uh, apology for considering our lives and our trades to be obsolete uh, simply because they wanted to harvest all and channel all into a dependency upon them. I mean, that's, that's hypocrisy at its worst, and we all know that. It's time to speak up, yes. And time to stand for our rights. And time to stand for our Savior as he stood for us. And stand for each other as we stand for us. And as had, and as they had, who have stood for us before this time. And those who stood before them before that time. The way of the word, Father, the way of thy people. The way of thy earth and thy heaven. Thy kingdom combined. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I ask. Amen.